We are going to have a quick look at the one to watch team two. Jonathan David. Right now, not a great card. But if he gets two in form, so he's like an 84, he could be insane. He's got five star weak foot. Really like the look of that in general. I think like he could be pretty beastly. Um, he's very good in game in a lot of areas. Just lacks enough in-game stats right now to be a beast. If he gets his upgrades, he becomes an absolute animal. So I definitely think Jonathan David's a decent one. He might be more of a long call though. And you just have to hope that he does get the informs. Florenzi. If he gets a few informs, Florenzi's got a really good card. And at PSG, the links he can get to Mbappe later on in the game, that could be really nice. If Verratti ever gets a good card, then triple link there. Um, Ferran Torres, I'm not sure he's going to play enough for Man City. If he gets informs, I don't think his card's even that special then. I just don't think he'll have enough pace. So I think he's a bit of a disappointing one. Rodrigo. Um, Rodrigo's a beast, man, like... Freestyle weak foot just doesn't hurt him anywhere near as much this year. So I think he could be a pretty solid card. Um, Rodrigo, if he gets one in form, suddenly he gets really high finishing even faster. But I think it leads with the way they're playing. Rodrigo could get a few in form, so that's a pretty good one to watch to get. Vidal, I don't know how many in forms Vidal's going to get anymore. Like, he doesn't seem that type of player anymore. Great card if he gets some, maybe a bit slow. But looks pretty solid all round. Still has one of the highest total in-game stats in the game. Van der Beek, free star, free star, I believe. Which really does hurt him. He's got some good links in the Prem to the Man U players. Gina with Naldrum, Van Dijk. But I just don't think he's as good a card as he should be. Semedo, now, like, man. If he gets some informs, he's one of the best right-backs in the game already. Um, Wolves um, have some decent players. You can link him to Dharma. Uh, he links in CR7 from the um, Portuguese link. Uh, links to any of the Prem centre-backs you want. Tomato's really good. couple of informs, you're laughing at that. Arthur, don't really think he's going to get that many informs, the type of player he is. Same with Thiago, to be honest. They're similar types of players. Brilliant players in real life, but playmakers don't tend to get many goals, and goals are what tend to get players informs, so I don't think you're going to get much off them. Sane is insane on FIFA 21, man. He's so fast, feels strong, he's good on the ball, he's decent finishing. And I cannot see in that Bayern Munich team how Sane won't get lots of goals. So I think Sane will be a really good one to watch. Even though he's got freestyle weak foot on this game, it just seems to work fine. So Sane, he'll do a great job for you. Definitely think that's a good one to get. Havertz, um, at Chelsea, he's had a bit of a rough start. But I think he will settle in. I do think he's a talented player. He needs a couple of cards before he gets really good. Um, I think he's four-star, four-star at the moment. I like Averts. I miss his five-star weak for that he got one FIFA. If he gets the upgrades that is, is possible playing him um, for Chelsea, then I think he could be a really good card and a really good option in the Prem. But I think it's going to be too expensive to probably justify getting the one to watch. Boys, hope you like this video. I'm going to try every time we get promos, Team of the Week, stuff like this. Have a quick look, review of them. Please let me know your thoughts on it. Appreciate you watching. Have a great evening.